Uh, I'm ready to rip this one open, Jay. What do you think? Hell yeah. I mean, this is this one is huge. This one's personal. This is from a brand that I've been following for years and years since basically day two of my whiskey journey. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, it is Weekly Whiskey After Hours, and we are back here with another episode of If This Then That. You know, if, you, uh, if you're if you into a certain bottle, if you're trying to find something, if you've been hunting it, no luck. Um, we have a suggestion for a bottle to pair instead. Uh, John and I, our emails get absolutely destroyed every single week. People are looking for things they can't find, things they used to be able to find that they're having a hard time now. Or, you know, maybe they've heard about something and they don't want to drop, you know, uh, plot twist a hundred dollars and maybe you want something interesting and in between so we've gone ahead and compiled and we've got a couple of great episodes for you but uh before we dive in this one's near and dear to me so we'll, we'll talk about it in a minute here but uh how are you doing john doing great man i'm excited about these been having a lot of fun getting some good feedback hopefully you guys are willing to throw some stuff in the comments for us too let us know what you think of these comparisons uh maybe even give us a suggestion on what you think uh something that you can't find something you replace it with that'd be cool to do uh, I'm ready to rip this one open, Jay. What do you think? Hell yeah. I mean, this is this one is huge. This one's personal. This is from a brand that I've been following for years and years since basically day two of my whiskey journey. So this week we are talking about Booker's Bourbon. So if you cannot find Booker's Bourbon, you know, maybe you used to enjoy it when it was $55. Maybe you used to enjoy it, you know, before the batches got cut down, you know, back when it used to be everywhere. Personally, here in Wisconsin, it's hard to find. So if you can't find Booker's Bourbon, uh, what, do you, what, what do you think we should be drinking instead? Well, I think it's plain and simple, really. If you're looking into that Booker's profile that's somewhere in the realm of 120, 126-ish proof, but you want to spend half the money, it's not Greek all day, man. Knob Creek, especially the single barrel, it's just so tough to beat. So much flavor in there. It's a very, very nice one. And the store picks float around like crazy. They're age dated at nine years, so it's older than Booker's is going to be. Oh, yeah. It's it's 120 proof, so it is going to be a lower proof. But, man, I'm telling you, the amount of value you're going to get for 50 or fewer dollars as compared to, like, don't get me wrong, I'm a big, big nerd for Booker's. I've always <laughs> liked that one. That, that used to be my go-to all the time. I would like, I would get one for Christmas. I would already have one of that same batch release. Uh, I I can remember stacking up every time a new release came out, grabbing it, and then the price, well, the price Im immediately jumped up, and then Beam scaled that back. And said, okay, okay, we'll just do a ten dollar per year increase. But man, it just it, it's become a cutoff for me. Really, the last time I would regularly buy it is when it was at seventy five. Now that it's over 75 bucks, I just don't do it. And it's too bad. Um, I've got a bottle right now to my name. It's the one behind me here. It's, it's, I don't even think it's open. No, nope. it's not even open yet, <laughs> which is rare for me. I, I think I only have like four or five bottles that aren't open in my massive collection. That just I mean, happens to be one of them. It's, I believe I, it. It was kind of buried in the bunker, really, to be honest with you. I dug it out for this, though, because realistically, I'm not going to go buy a bottle of Booker's tomorrow. I would go buy a bottle of Knob Creek Single Barrel all day and it, it's really interesting too like this is something we talk about all the time we just talked about it on a past episode of weekly whiskey but you know um, beam has some identity issues sometimes you know sometimes they perplex yeah. us but this is an excellent opportunity to capitalize on that right so knob creek you know a single barrel selection at, at its very youngest is nine years so you're already looking at at least three more years than the average bookers you know bookers is really always between six and seven so you're looking at two two and a half maybe two and three quarters of years advantage you're only dropping maybe what three percent abv four percent abv so it's right I, I won't say it's negligible but it's small um you're paying half the price these are you know 43 to i'd say 55 dollars here i see bookers if i see it at all starting at 95 all the way to 110 um, and, and, and honestly, you can find it. The quality control on these is dialed in. So if you, you know, if you can't find bookers, if you're unwilling to pay these new prices back in 2016, they decided to go from six batches a year to four, and they were going to raise the price from $60 to $100 over the next four years. You know, that's a big, bold strategy and it's working. Bookers is hard to find. It's pumped up. I'm seeing it behind counters. I'm seeing it in lotteries. I'm seeing people, you know, going out and hunting for it, which is crazy because Booker's used to be everywhere. And and honestly, like you don't have to hunt for Knob Creek whatsoever. It's always out there. It's always at least nine years. <clears throat> and you're getting 
really strong value for the proof and, and I actually like it. It's a little bit less peanut forward than, than the Booker's profile. So if you haven't had it yet and you're looking for Booker's, this this for me is the perfect stepping stone. This gets you 99% of the way there on the proof. You're overshooting on, you know, on the age and, and you're paying half as much so you can get a like a store pick and then a regular single barrel and compare them like that to me is just win 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 yeah all the way down the line you're talking about winning dominoes tipping them over man i'm with you the, i do uh i want to briefly touch on the identity issues that you were speaking of because mm -hmm. that's something that totally confuses me as a self-proclaimed whiskey expert <laughs> or as a guy who drinks whiskey and talks about it on the internet I find it a little bit confusing with uh, Beam's product profile. It's a little bit tough to sort of know what's going on. And it used to be that you could just kind of look at the prices and be like, oh, well, this one's the most expensive, so it's probably their best one, right? And that's where bookers used to fall. And that's even back when it was like 55 bucks. Yeah. And boy, did I go through it back in those days. I used to always have a couple bottles of bookers on hand when it was, you know, in all estimations, one of the cheaper bottles that you could get. Premium bottles, that is. Now you look at their, their portfolio and Little Book, which in the name alone makes me think it would be like Booker's Jr. <laughs> or like, you know, like we see this on the Buffalo Trace side. You have George T. Stagg and then Stagg Jr. Yep. Half the price because it's the younger, smaller, you know, whatever. It, it, the way it's named is a little bit misleading because Little Book costs more than Booker's, which costs more than I feel like it should anyway. Yep. Love Booker's, just don't like paying that much for it. I, I'm a little bit confused by that. I'm a little bit confused by Baker's being a seven-year age dated single barrel and being more expensive than the nine-year Knob Creek single barrel. I'm just a little bit unsure about some of the pricing. Like, I don't get quite where Beam places the premium. What What's the best product and why? I would love to know what the answer is to that. But until then, if you can't find this, buy that. <laughs> I'm talking about Knob Creek single barrels, nine years old, 120 proof, all day, man. I I'm right there with you. Like we, you know, we talk about there's a weird identity issue between Knob Creek and Baker's. It only gets worse the more you talk about Beam, and it, you know, right. it's fun. Sure, I think maybe someone there has an idea, but but in the meantime, I think the way that you always describe it to me is that you never buy Booker's; that you have something to buy at a restaurant. You know. You go out, yep. it's 10, 12, 15 bucks. You want to pour, cool. I don't have to own a whole bottle. I don't have to hunt for it. I got Knob Creek at home. That is the perfect allegory for it. I think that if you cannot find bookers, you're unwilling to find bookers. Maybe you've been priced out of bookers. It used to be 55, now it's 100 bucks. You know, I totally get it. I say Knob Creek all day um, and I couldn't agree more. I think that's a perfect call. Awesome, man. So if you guys like what we're doing here and you're subscribed to the channel, you're already getting all these alerts. You can also catch us on patreon.com slash the whiskey net. And if you go in there and support the show, first of all, you'll get our undying appreciation, which is probably <laughs> worth a little bit to you. But you also get to connect with us at Discord. And we're going to be releasing some videos on that coming up soon that'll help explain the Discord situation, what you could do in there, uh, what it's good for, and how you can connect with us to get access to a little bit more limited content that way. Jay, you want to go ahead and wrap this up for everybody? Hell yeah, man. So once you go ahead and stop over and see us at Discord, go ahead, drop us a subscribe, uh, maybe a like here if you like what we're doing on YouTube. Um, and we will always be here to see you on Tuesday night for a live show. We'll be here Thursday morning for Weekly Whiskey After Hours. Uh, we love getting to talk to people. Hop in our inbox. Let us know you can't find if you want a comparison to something new. And if you're looking for more from John, you can find him over at the Bourbon Finder. He's on Instagram. He's on the Twitter, you know, the old Twitter, the Bluebird. And he's on his own website at uh, thebourbonfinder.com. A uh, really great series of single barrel reviews. He's doing a lot of selects lately. Really great head-to-heads. And if you're looking for more from me, you can find me over at whiskeyraiders.com. We are the Rotten Tomatoes of Whiskey. Really good time. We've got news, reviews, articles, all the fun stuff you're looking for from the world of whiskey. And once again, together, we are a Weekly Whiskey here on YouTube. You can catch us Tuesday nights, Thursday mornings for After Hours, and find us over at patreon.com slash the whiskey net. So we love that you guys joined us. Let us know what you think. If you love Booker's, if you love Knob Creek, we'd love to hear from you. It's one of our favorites. And uh, we'll see you again on Tuesday for another live stream. So cheers, y'all. Cheers, everybody.